Welcome back to Show Me St. Louis. There's been a substantial increase in online shopping since the start of COVID-19. Just between April and May this year, Americans spent more than they did during the entire 2019 holiday season. And more orders means more packages delivered, and that creates a lot of opportunity for porch pirates to steal our packages. Andy Krubin from Brown & Krubin is sharing some thoughts on how to prevent package theft. So Andy, a lot more of us have started relying on online shopping, even now more so since the start of the pandemic, maybe to avoid crowds. And a lot of online stores are offering contactless delivery for our safety, but that can really open up some opportunities for people to steal our packages. So what do we do? Yeah, no, we've really increased our online shopping. Um, you know, I just read that Jeff Bezos, who started Amazon, his net worth has gone up by $35 billion uh, since the pandemic started, uh, which is, I, I guess he's been a bit more productive since March than I have been. You know, I think there are a couple things we can do. Um, we can, A, do implement some safety uh, protocols on the ordering end of things. and mm -hmm. And by doing that, what I mean is, you can either just get contactless delivery from most major retailers. If you live in a, in a major city, like if you have Best Buy or something like that, you can place the order online and they will come out and just put it in your car for you. Um, if it's not a major retailer that has a local location, you can uh, use your UPS or FedEx facility. They can generally hold the package for you and you can go and pick it up. That maybe isn't ideal right now. Uh, or you can also, uh, places like Amazon or UPS have storage lockers that you that are secure in kind of public locations. You can have the package delivered there and you can go and pick it up once you know that it's been delivered. That's on the ordering end of things. Now, uh, I think most people probably shop online for the convenience of having it brought to their home and don't want to have to deal with going somewhere to get it. Um, so I, I think it's important to talk about the things we can do at our house. I think the first thing to do uh, is install one of these doorbell cameras or some type of security camera that that faces your porch or front of the house where the package is likely to be delivered. I think that's always, if it's visible, a great deterrent. If it's not <clears throat> highly visible or even if it is, I would always recommend having some sort of sign, you know, like you see in people's yards, security sign, under surveillance sign. You know, most thieves who are stealing packages, they are, these are crimes of opportunity. If they mm -hmm. think there's a chance they'll get caught, they'll just go to the package on your neighbor's doorstep. Not that you wanna get your neighbor's package <laughs> stolen, but the point is, is the more you protect yourself, the less likely it is that your packages are gonna be stolen. There are lock boxes you can get. In fact, I just saw one today that was really cool that is on a, a package safe that you put outside. And what happens is you can enter a code when you order a product so that when the delivery person comes, they look at it and there's a code on there. They enter it, your lock box opens up, they put it inside, it closes. And that way you know that your package is safe. Uh, another thing you can do, you can opt in to text messages for when the package is delivered. They don't always ring your doorbell. So it could sit there for hours and hours before you even know it. Get a text message to notify you so you know that once it's there, immediately go grab it before a, a thief does. Brilliant. Well, so many options. I'm sure that there's got to be one that fits everyone. Andy, thank you so much for all the great tips on how to keep our packages safe. Yeah, happy shopping. If you need legal advice, give the experts at Brown and Crouppen a call at 314-222-2222 or visit getbc.com. And don't forget to check them out on YouTube.